and the, the and you know that there's what we call tajweed. Tajweed, tajweed yes. is the rules of recitation of the Quran. Yes. The rules of reci recitation of the Quran. Mm -hmm. So a, a, a very good uh, uh, sheikh or uh, a teacher will be sitting in the middle of the, mm -hmm. the gathering. Mm -hmm. People will be reciting and then he will be correcting their recitations yes. in so accordance with the rules of tajweed. So you're saying this is just a time to, I mean, the opportunity, this Ramadan gives us the opportunity to yes. better our tajweed, our agreement. Oh, okay. If I, if I, in some other countries, it's, it's a daily practice. It's Every morning prayer, mm -hmm. they will sit down, okay. uh, spend 10, 20 minutes mm -hmm. uh, reciting the Quran. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not only enough to be able to recite the Quran as it is written in Arabic, mm -hmm. but you must be able to recite it properly. Properly. And that is okay. exactly that is where the rules of Tajweed will come in. Okay. So in other words, when the people sit in Tajweed gathering, mm -hmm. or in Tafsir gathering, or in a, any other form of uh, uh, someone or, or whatever, uh, it is very important insofar as it has to do with the whole Quran and mm -hmm. it signifies the special relationship mm -hmm. between Al Quran Al Karim and the month of Ramadan because Quran was written in the month of Ramadan and most important, like any other act of Ramadan, that those sessions are richly rewarded. rewarded. Mm -hmm. They are multiplied because this is a special month in which every act of Ramadan is multiplied mm -hmm. and every minute counts. counts. That's Dr. Abu Bakr Senwar, uh, Dean of the Faculty of Law at the University of the Gambia on Ikra. Uh, that's all we have for you on this edition of Ikra. Join us next week for another edition. And don't forget, you can watch this program again live on our website at www.grts.gm. That's me, Ibrahim Ajata. Until we meet again, enjoy the rest of our programs. <laughs> New summary with me, Fatu Jassi. The Gambia International Airlines has pegged the 2011 Hajj package at $119,000 for Muslims intending to undertake the 2011 pilgrimage to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The all-inclusive package, according to GI officials, was arrived following the personal intervention of President Jami. The National Drug Enforcement Agency is finalizing probes into the three cases involving illicit drugs as several suspects helping in ongoing investigations await prosecution. Anti-narcotics operatives also have in their custody a man found in possession of suspected cocaine. One of the world's leading information technology giants, Google, has widened its scope of innovations by introducing local language to online search engines. Google's community program for African languages has reached the scores of the Gambia. It has taxed Jalof Tutus with the responsibility of translating some 10,000 words, sentences, and phrases into Mandinka and Fula. The exercise, which came to a close Thursday, engaged 50 officials and language experts. In another news, clashes between anti Museveni protesters and police have broken out in Uganda, where the demonstrators, led by the country's opposition leader, are venting their anger against the rising cost of staple food and fuel. And the South African president, Jacob Zuma, has arrived in Burundi for a three day visit seeking to boost trade and investment between Johannesburg and Bujumbura. The famine in the Horn of Africa, especially conflict stricken Somalia, is taking a heavy toll on children who are dying of severe malnutrition and other health conditions. The United Nations has warned that while tens of thousands of children have died, many more are going to die unless the food needed for aid is delivered. That does it for the news in summary. Thanks for being there and you have a pleasant morning. All leaders for President Bashar al-Assad to end his crackdown on protesters. The Turkish foreign